Hello, welcome to another episode of the Disabled Reviewers. Today we are reviewing the Seat Attacker, courtesy of Swansway Seat in Crew. Let's get straight to the transfer. Okay, so we're going to try the transfer. First impressions, uh, it does seem a little bit high. I'm not sure if I can do it without assistance, but we'll have a look. So we're going to roll up. There isn't actually a very big gap. If you come by here, you'll see. Um, as I said, this, here's the edge of my chair. Here's the seat. So it's not a massive gap, but it's the height then. So we're going to have a little look anyway. We are in and it wasn't all that bad. I'm a bit stiff, but it's all right. Okay, so we are in. Um, first impressions inside. It's very neat and tidy. I do like it and I like the whole layout of it. So this one, it comes with a nice big screen. Um, then that has DAB radio. It's got sat nav. Um, we also got a few apps that you can have. Um, we are then gonna come down to the climate control section. So it's individual climate control. The one thing I like about this, which I think is really good little button, is right here on the button near the climate control, there's a little button that if you press this, it'll actually open and close it. Would you have to hold it whilst it opens and then hold it whilst it closes? But it's, it's a really good little um, gadget, I would like to say. Um, there is also wireless charging port in this car. Um, I believe it's suitable for both iPhones and Androids. Um, this comes with the DSG gearbox. This particular model is the 1.4 TSI Petro. Um, miles per gallon average is about 50 to 60. It is quite good. Um, then we're going to come down to the gearbox. And I like this because it's quite different and it makes it feel a little bit more high end. We've got a little nozzle here for the, all the different driving modes. So you've got eco, your normal driving, then sport, and then you can set up an individual mode, which is quite good. Um, this car also does come with the electronic handbrake. Um, we've got two cup holders here. We've got a little armrest in here with storage compartments where I put my keys in there. Uh, we've got decent sized door bins. I think you could fit a nice decent sized bottle of water in there. Um, it also comes with electric wing mirrors, heated as well. Um, we've got all round electric windows, so overall, a really nice inside. So let's take a look at the uh, boot for the Seat Attacker. Uh, again with this, we've got the uh, electronic tailgate. I'm a big fan of the electronic tailgates that are coming out these days. Brilliant help for me, I'm quite sure of myself. Good thing about this is the uh, the height of the the boot itself, um, where you don't have, have to actually take the wheelchair apart. I'll just put it in like so, and you don't need to take the partial shelf out either to fit it in. Um, at the sides here, you've got still mm, a little bit a little bit of space. Um, you've got little pockets here, so you can put the uh, sides of the wheelchair in there or anything that you want to put in there. Um, still enough space for your shopping and stuff like that. So yeah, it's pretty good. Um, another thing as well, you can actually close it off the key without stretching up, which is uh, brilliant. And now it's time for our ratings. Accessibility for 
practicality for comfort for and performance for if you want any further information on this Seat Ateca please check out the description box below and please don't forget to subscribe and give us a thumbs up if you like this video